Hey everyone, this guy is Sifo, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at long distance redstone. So yeah, we've got this whole area a hundred blocks across. We're going to see what are the fastest ways to activate these ender portals at the end here. So let's get down to this. So yeah, the ender portals are there to make sure you know how fast it is. All right, so why do we need these? So a standard redstone line loses its signal strength after 15 blocks, after which you need a repeater to strengthen it again. However, a repeater adds a delay of one tick, which is 0.1 seconds. So this means that for uh, 100 blocks, you've got a repeater every 16 blocks. So you've got a delay of 0.6 seconds. All right, so now the problem with uh, this system is that it's redstone dust, so you can't actually have it underwater. So in case you wanted to have stuff underwater, you can use this sticky pistons attached to redstone blocks, which basically activates the pistons in sort of a chain reaction. But as you can see, this is a bit slow. It takes one tick for a piston to extend. So every block, there's a delay of a tick. So we just have to reduce the piston. So that's what we've done here. We've got 11 slime blocks and a redstone block at the end, which pass the next piston and so on. So every 13 blocks, you get a delay of one tick. So that is 0 0.7 seconds for the 100 blocks. All right, so something you would have noticed in this retraction is the retraction is instant. All of them retract at the same time. And you would be correct. Um, pistons retract in the same game tick. So here we've got a torch extending this piston beforehand. And we've got the same arrangement as before, but in this case, all the pistons are already extended with uh, yeah the 11 slime block things, which are not actually required. So if I flick the button, you get a tick because of the redstone torch, but then it's instant. Now this design is a bit expensive because there's a lot of slime blocks. Um, so what we've done here is we've uh, combined it with some redstone dust because redstone dust also activates instantly and this has the same exact effect. All right, now we're going to get into the slightly more wireless area here. We're going to be using tripwire hooks. So as you can see, you can't actually see anything, but uh, we've got a line of string. Now, this is because tripwires can actually send a signal across 40 blocks instantly. There's absolutely no delay. And yeah, that basically activates this other line into the other tripwire activation. So how does the tripwire activation actually work? The answer is over here, where we've got a armor stand on top of a honey block attached to an extend piston. When the tot switches off, the armor stands pulled into line with the tripwire hook setting off everything. And yeah, once again, 40 blocks of instant redstone plus a couple of delays thanks to torches. But yeah, this is pretty fast. All right, so the next thing is, once again, we're going to use some redstone dust here because there's an interesting repeater that you can use here. So that's this thing over here. What this is, is a zero tick repeater. We've got sticky pistons on both ends. And basically what this does is that it strengthens the signal, but doesn't provide any delays. Um, so we've got a bit of extension stuff that happens over here, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, but the important thing is that the piston extends immediately, uh, sending the signal all the way through at uh, the same instant. So there's absolutely no delay until the end where there's a torch, obviously, keeping the trapdoor open. So that's 0.1 seconds of delay over this entire line, which is really useful because you can use these as long as you want and there'll be absolutely no um, delay. And they're also pretty cheap. Just two slime blocks and slime, sorry, sticky pistons. All right, so just to see what's happening here, if I activate this button, um, you can see the order in which the redstone block gets extended and then retracted. Um, yeah, this does use some block updates to get done, but yeah, it's really, really simple to construct. All right, so the next thing we are going to be looking for is uh, some themed stuff, which can actually look good in a build. Um, as you saw, the previous ones are very, very ugly. And in case you've got an organic build, you're going to have 
tons of leaves and maybe oak logs as well or different wood types it doesn't really matter but if i open the f3 menu you can see that uh, on the right side there's a distance tag for every single leaf which goes up all the way to the six on the last block if a leaf is not in contact with a piece of wood the number goes up to seven and that can be detected by an observer which is what you're going to use here to send a chain reaction we basically retract the piece of wood and all the other observers retract the piece of wood as well sending a bit of a chain the obvious problem with this is that there's a lot of delay observers are a delay pistons are a delay and you can only have this every eight blocks or so but this does look a whole lot better than the ugly slimeness in the background the next one is using minecarts minecarts are obviously very easy to decorate you can have some nice arches or you know transport things so yeah if i jump onto this side you can see that there's um, the rails are all parred except for the block in the beginning as you can see it's not parred as we come over here we've got a detector rail followed by a part rail in the back and yeah uh, if you send the rail i'm uh, sorry the minecart off uh, it uh, passes up the lamps and then gets sent back obviously this is slow but it looks a whole lot better and yeah now obviously i love my flying machines so we've got yes you guessed it another flying machine here this is something i've shown a bunch of times before um this sends off there's a piston over there which sends it back thanks to this observer and a redstone block for the output as i mentioned this is slow okay so the next one's the real wireless guard right now here we've got a portal with absolutely nothing behind it but in front of it we've got a dropper with some blocks in it so if i flick that button the block's gone through the portal into the nether and yeah there we go it has finally teleported us safely back here now this is about 180 blocks away slightly further from those guys and we've got the ender portal system once again over here and the items have made themselves into the barrel so what's actually happening here is it's a lot of stuff on the nether but this is the portal from which the item comes and um, yeah the item drops into the glass chamber into the hopper into the barrel as you can see there are some items there the items are detected by the comparator which sends off the signal through a repeater this is standard stuff you can even use zero tick repeaters here and uh, yeah it passes dropper sending another block back now this is just 18 blocks uh, you can extend this another 18 blocks and just add one extra tick of delay so this is pretty useful okay so the next one is using piglins so we got a friend scapegoat and his friend the activator in the back and basically we are in survival now if you can see the lamp in the back uh, okay you can't see it from this angle what we're going to do is we're going to punch scapegoat and you can see that the lamp is uh, turning on so this does provide a bit of a repeated output so it would be useful to use an ender porter to basically connect this to something like an ender porter rather than an off switch so what's happening here is we've got mr activator who can see his friend uh, being punched and he walks onto the pressure plate and the piston pushes him back and yeah this is pretty simple and he just keeps trying to aggravate and move forwards which uh, means he just keeps getting pushed back obviously he can't be pushed into swim mode now the reason for the magma block there is the fact that piglins can't actually track on to magma naturally they will walk onto magma if uh, they are aggravated but not uh, under normal circumstances which is why the magma block is super important because they don't take damage from it so anyways guys, thanks for watching. This has been Skysip and I'm out. So ciao for now and I'll see you later. Bye.